Hey guys, it's your girl Sin. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button. So today's video is the day in the life of an entrepreneur. So this is another video. You guys seem to like these videos, so I'm going to keep them coming. Be sure to like this video down below and leave me a comment down below. So today's video, I have to go to the warehouse that I usually get all of my inventory and I need to replenish. Also, I need to go buy some candle material so that I can make some more candles because as you guys know I do make spiritual candles on my shop so I have to go get some candle material so also we're also still in pandemic so we still have to wear our mask so um, some places in Florida if you don't have your mask you can't come in the actual building so um, I make sure that I have mass here but I have to go replenish inventory I'm also going to show you guys how I actually um, bind my actual planners I am looking for a manufacturer and I did find one so I am going to have someone making my planners for now on um, I'm in the works with that negotiations um, as far as style and pricing but they are going to be professionally manufactured now and I'm super excited about that so I do have to run to Michaels as well but Michaels has curbside pickup which is amazing because I I'm trying really hard not to go into any stores and be around a lot of people so it's amazing that they have curbside pickup so I have to go pick up some boxes and yeah so let's go get some supplies and go head to the warehouse you know I had to come to Duncan I love Duncan's iced coffee Morning. Can I have a uh, medium caramel iced latte with almond milk and a shot of coconut? Okay. And can I have a hash brown as well? Mm -hmm. That's it. No problem. Take the light. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I love their iced coffee. I have to have the iced coffee. I don't know what it is about the iced coffee. It's better than Starbucks. Um, yeah, it's better than Starbucks. I don't have any other coffee. I mean, I guess there's Einstein Brothers. Oh, there's actually a coffee shop inside of our airport. I know it's weird. Inside of our airport in Miami International, and they had the best cuatatitos ever. Oh my god, if you're um Spanish, you know what that is. Uh, Dominican, Cuban, you know what it is. Cuatadito, cuatadito. <laughs> Cortadito. I love their cortadito, but I, I wish that they would make it with almond milk because I am trying to stray away from regular milk, but you know, it is what it is at this point. time I've forgotten my mask. <sighs> the struggle. This is our new reality. Crazy. I saw that. Almost broken nail. Being a good law abiding citizen and bringing back the cart. One of my biggest pet peeves. Bring the cart back. So, oh, my wallet. <laughs> Location number two. Alright, so finally at the warehouse. So I gotta pick up some candles. <sighs> Alright, so we gotta find Yamaya. Yamaya, 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 Yamaya. Yamaya, Yamaya. Yamaya! 
we found her. Okay, so I'm gonna get two boxes. They're verifying my sales retax as a Tristan. Whenever you buy wholesale, you want to make sure that you have your sales tax resale certification so you can get discounts and also you don't have to pay for sales tax. So guys, I don't know if you heard me inside because it was pretty loud because all of the fans inside of the warehouse, obviously there isn't any AC in the warehouse. This is just a whole bunch of industrial fans. But what I was saying inside is that you want to make sure that your resale tax certification is up to par because you will save a lot more money as far as your taxes will. It depends which state you are. But in Florida, if you have a resale tax certification, you save money on taxes when you're buying large quantities of products. So um, in this case, it was my... I've been there a couple of times, but I always kept forgetting my sales retax certification, but this time I actually remembered and took a screenshot of it before I went, before I left my house. So um, I'm pretty, she pretty knows me by name at this point. So every time I forget, she's like, don't forget it next time, don't forget it. So I didn't forget it this time. And um, she actually took down all of my information. She had to check in with her boss, make sure that it was up to date because it does expire. Oops, sorry, they see. Um, it does expire. And then what she did was that she had to take down my information, take my ID, um, take down my business name, my email, you know, just all of the requirements um, in order for the, her manager who owns the warehouse um, can know that next time I come in, I don't have to pay any taxes on whatever I'm buying. So it's just having a rapport with the actual warehouse and wherever you buy wholesale, just having a rapport with them and making sure that you have your resale tax certification. So in this case, I did not pay any taxes on what I purchased. I purchased a lot of stuff, you guys. Um, I purchased a lot of Yamaya candles. I purchased a lot of um, uh, candles that I need, some candle materials as well. Um, they have a really, a lot, they have a lot of things there. They um, also have um, where I, well, this is another warehouse that I usually go to. They, where I buy my crystal, my gazing crystal balls. If you don't know, I, I added like gazing crystal balls on my actual website so go ahead and check that out um they are amazing it's uh ho it's very holistic and also that warehouse is also very um zen which i love buying my crystal balls from there um they're just amazing they sell crystals there's wholesale um they sell a lot of um apothecas apoth <laughs> there's a lot of uh apple apple i can never say that word apothecary items um but i don't buy my sage there i'm very picky about where i get my sage so um i'm very picky about that i just it has to be it has to be um well respected and it also has to be um coming from a reliable source because people are just out here trying to make a buck and i'm not going to buy my sage from someone who has ill will energy or negative energy so i am headed home right now to start packing orders there's a lot quite a few from this weekend um so let's head over to my house and i'll show you guys a little bit of how i pack my orders and also a little bit about how i told you guys about my plan so let's head over to my house these boxes are so heavy oh god oh god Okay, you guys, so this last minute package came in, but literally two seconds, another order came in. So I'm going back in the house because I want to make sure that I get all of these packages out really, really fast. But I'll add this particular order to the ones that I already have in here. <sighs> so another, another order just came in. So let's go package that order really quickly. come in if if it does or if a couple of order comes in then I'll just have to process them later this week because I've been like trying to get to the post office maybe 15 minutes and an order keeps coming in so I'm gonna process this and then head to the post office so a last minute order came in so I am now packaging this order I was literally on my way to the post office um, 
but literally while I was getting into my car, an order came in, so I'm making sure that I get this package out. Period. Let's try this again. Okay, guys, so this is it. You know, the order comes in. It'll just have to wait for the end of the week, which is probably Thursday or Friday. Today is Tuesday. So these are going to the post office. So let's close. Oh my God, I always have to record them. Alrighty. Let's go to the post office. Guys, the car is full of orders. <sighs> I'm back so you guys can see the badness. <sighs> guys i just got home and my rollo has come in i have been wasting so much money on ink just to print out my labels but i recently found out about a rollo a rollo is basically a thermal printer where you don't need to buy any ink cartridges you can save money each month without having to waste all that money on all of that ink so it just came in the mail and I wanted to set it up with you guys because I really wanted you guys to see the day in the life of entrepreneur and how to be a cost-effective mommy so this is me just taking it out of the box and these are the instructions I'm also going to pull out the outlet that comes with the Rolo so that it comes with a USB cord so you can actually um, plug it into your laptop so I'm gonna be plugging it into my laptop so I can connect it to my ship station that is the program that I use to print out my labels I am going to be switching to pirate ship because ship station is getting a little bit too pricey because I do ship out more than 500 orders a month and it's about $30 a month just to use that platform so I will be switching over to a new platform so this is a USB that comes with the Rolo I will be plugging it in and actually setting it up with you guys so I am going to be setting it up just here and and then we are going to start this rollo on and then we're going to connect it to my computer because there is a software that you have to download to your particular laptop so that the rollo um, can connect to your personal shipping platform now I am going to turn it on and then you will see that the light on the particular Rolo turns green. So that means that it is on. So now I'm basically going to set it up on my laptop. Now you're going to have to download the Rolo driver on your Mac. I do have a Mac. You're going to download it so that the Rolo can identify your laptop when it's time to print out your labels. Once you are done installing the Rolo application on your particular laptop or Mac, you're then going to go ahead and connect the actual Rolo so that it can detect your shipping platform. So my platform is going to be ShipStation. So I'm going to go into my system preferences and I'm going to make sure that I add the printer to my laptop or the Rolo, I should say. So I'm going to be adding that. As you guys can see, I have three different types of printers that I use to print out my labels already connected to my laptop. But I'm going to add the printer thermal printer, which is my Rolo, and make sure that it's connected on this computer. So it's going to be four printers instead of three now.
once you detect the Rolo printer on your actual Mac, you're going to click OK, and then you're going to add the thermal printer as one of your printing services on your actual Mac. So this is just me attempting to open the Rolo. I cannot do this with one hand, so I literally had to put my camera down so that I can open it. Turn it back on because you have to turn it off while you're doing all of these processes. And this is the actual paper I got off Amazon. This is for, I think it was a thousand for $25, um, which is a really good deal. So this is how they're gonna look. They're four by six, and the Rolo is basically going to print out my labels and also the packaging um, information as well. So it prints out the labels and it prints out the packaging um, list, if you guys know what that is. So basically the packaging list is basically tells you what the um, actual customer has ordered from your website. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that your actual labels are in between these blue checkers or these little blue little gadgets here on the robo. And that's because it basically is going to scan the paper to make sure that um, it kind of detects um, the sizing of the label and also kind of detects what kind of labels you are using. So I'm going to turn it on and then it's going to scan the actual label so that it can detect next time when actually printing out the real labels um, how I want them done. So you're going to hold down this button until you hear a ringing and then you're going to see that it's going to scan it so this is just basically the roll of scanning um how you want your labels to be printed out and that's pretty much it so i did print out some of my labels and they came out absolutely amazing and this is so cost effective and the best investment ever okay guys so i am now sorting out my planners i am watching Charlie Gold on YouTube, shout out to her. Um, when I'm bored, I watch her. I watch Michael B. Petty, Tamaj Tarot, as you guys already know, um, Nick Snyder, um, who else I love, Deaf Noodles. So I watch them while I do all of my work. So this is just me sorting out my planners. Um, I printed them out. So now I'm just sorting them and then I'm going to curate them. So what I do is that I actually make my planners from scratch. Um, but this is me just doing them on my own, solely on my own for now. But I do want to make them a lot more of an upgrade and also give it a new facelift. So I'm just sorting out all of my planners now and then I will create them. So, and then I'm gonna do some inventory. Um, but I, I, this is, I just wanted to show you guys, like this is the hard work that I do I might take my business very seriously. Um, but this is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have a good night or morning or afternoon wherever you guys are. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and you hit the like button and leave me a comment below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.